so dumb. Right again. <laughs> again. <laughs> Three times in a row. <laughs> you guys are good sports. Uh, welcome to the show that's just continually right. And I was telling you guys, what, I don't even want to be right. I, I'd prefer if you were right and I was just the handsome host and that could go. And I could listen to you guys and be like, wow, interesting points. But now the tables are turned. I'm handsome and interesting. What are you going to do now? <laughs> first things first. What a fraud. Today. Okay. Luca to blame for the loss. All right. So, Luca, this guy is an offense unto himself mm -hmm. who has never been good, let alone great defensively. Sure. Who come the playoffs, teams are more able to scheme it, hunt him, Ski, you know, design their offense about getting him in switches, yep. getting him in the action, maybe getting him in foul trouble. And it culminated in him losing his temper a bit, in him getting frustrated, and him fouling out of a critical game you know, finals game. Mm -hmm. Yes. That is what happened last night with Luka, and it is also what happened to Steph Curry eight years ago. In game six, now Luca didn't throw his mouthpiece and no one in Luca's family accused the league of being rigged, but it all happened. Okay. In a similar circumstance of this guy whose offense is what creates everything, mm -hmm. but defensively can be picked on at that point in Steph's career more so than now. Sure. And so heavy is the head that wears the metaphorical crown or the crown or whatever it is. Luca needs to be better. I, and we will discuss later, think he needs to be better offensively more than he needs to be better defensively because the Mavs are not losing this series because of defense. They're losing this series because of offense. What is frustrating to me, and I reached out to Wendy this morning because I adore him and I think he might be, he's certainly on the current Mount Rushmore of respected basketball voices. Sure. I thought the table was set for Feast on Luka Day today in a way that was not fair to his performance or him fouling out. Because at the reason I brought up Steph was we have seen something incredibly similar. Now, Steph had already won a championship, which obviously mm -hmm. buys you a lot. I understand that. Mm -hmm. And that was Steph's game was to win a championship. This was kind of to avoid losing a championship. It's not one-to-one, -one, but it is not unprecedented what we saw and I listen he needs to get back on defense that I had a big like the the yelling at the refs and then letting five on fours happen can't happen in the NBA finals yeah I also think he gets a bad whistle but I think some of that is his own doing because refs are human and he is always going after him. Oh, but, but, I, but I don't think he gets a good whistle befitting his status in the league. And I don't think we typically see a superstar get four fourth quarter fouls, at least three of which were coin flip calls. So I understand some of the frustration. But yes, he needs to be better. Is he the reason they lost? No. He's the reason they're there. And he was the second best Mav yesterday. He needs to be better. But this whole let's reevaluate Luka Doncic today, I think it's too much. I think it's too much. It's not too much because this is what happens. Jason Tatum has had to go through this. And he's not as good as Luka. But LeBron James, who's better than Luka or in his prime, has had to go through this. This is what it is. All right, now, I I'm going to address his defense. His defense is atrocious. His defense is atrocious, and I know he gets some steals. He's leading the Mavs in steals now with almost two and a half a game, mm -hmm. but that's not indicative of great defense. You mentioned it, Nick, and here he is. The complaining and the and the bad defense. Go to, like, here he is just not even running hard. All right, and here he is after this a shot. This one was awful. He, he, I don't even know if he got hit. He falls. He's complaining. They're just running back, you know, scoring as he's sitting there. Now he gets there. And then here's another one. Again, I, I don't even think he got hit. He's trying to buy a call, and he's just sitting there. He's the last man back, or supposed to be. But because he fell, Jason Tatum's there all alone and gets a dunk. So the defense is bad, and I saw on second spectrum this morning. The blow-bys are crazy. The blow-bys are not crazy. They're historically crazy. Yeah. <laughs> all right, 67% of the their drive, yeah. they're, they're blowing by him 67% of the time, which is the most – 
of any player in the last 10 years of the postseason. 10 years, all right? So the defense is bad. And you mentioned it, the complaining. We know NBA players are notorious for complaining to the refs, but Luka is off the charts in it. He's got to get better at that. But to say, to even hint that he is the reason they lost this game or are down 3-0 in this series yeah. is insane. Thank you. Thank you. You're only there because of Luke. No, you, they are a two and sometimes one man team. That's what they are. And we are, they are being exposed for that right now. Some of that is personnel. Some of that is the way they play, their style, their scheme. But they're a one or a two man team when Kyrie's got it going. All right. And Luka Doncic is that team. Even last night, Nick, even last night when he had a bad game, right? He had a plus nine minus well, of plus nine. So that's all right. Can, no other no other Maverick uh, starter had a positive plus well, minus. So let's can I because before just real quick, I I just want to dive into that because that is my other frustration yeah. is I am not acting as if the guy is beyond reproach and to your point. When you are playing for the stakes of, is he going to be the best player in the world? You are obviously held to a very high standard. But someone explained to me that in that game last night, the 38 minutes Luka Doncic was on the court, the Mavs won by nine. Yes. The 10 minutes he sat, they lost by 16. Now, that is an argument as to why he can't foul out. Yeah. That that part is totally fair. But that the idea, the narrative today has been... You can't win because of his defensive deficiencies, which does not square with the fact when he plays, you won. At last night, if what we're talking about, and I, and we can talk about those the other numbers later, the problem for the Mavs has been their offense, to my eye and to the data, I feel. But I feel like... Go Check this out. Yeah, we talked there. about the plus yeah, minus yeah. last yeah. night. Only one with yeah. a positive plus minus. This is for the series. He's a minus four. Every other Mav is – Washington's closest at minus 13. The rest of them are in the negative 20s. I think Look Tim Hardaway Jr. is infinite right now in six minutes. Yeah, I mean, these are just the guys that are getting yes. decent minutes. And so, again, so you want it is a bridge with, too is it, far. Is it Daniel Gafford's fault? No, no my point is – it's like saying Michael Jackson is the problem with the Jackson 5. I mean, really. I, Luka Doncic is the team. With all due respect to Kyrie Irving, okay. he's the team. So to say he's the reason they're down 3-0, he's the reason that they lost last night, we showed you the plus minus. The, it's crazy. So you go, Wilds, please. I mean, you guys made fair points, but, I, I mean, whose fault is it? Are we giving the, are we giving the self I think we're about to give the Did they win? He that, didn't. He had. Pretty good. We're not saying he was perfect, and uh, yes, he can bear some blame. Yeah. So, but other, even so Kyrie in his 35-point game all, was a minus three. The guy, plus he's minus. on a doer. I mean, I feel like we're, we're just brushing past the idea that he is in a do-or-die game. Mm -hmm. The Mavs are on a, on a crazy run, and instead of playing defense – he decides to try to take a charge, and it's his second foul in the last, I think, 30 seconds. It was like seconds, 30, 20 seconds. And loses the game. And yes. I don't think that's just so, one data point. I think what, that's a pretty big decision that he made, and he lost. I think this is the issue. We're saying, I'm certainly saying, he, he's to blame for some stuff last night. He okay. didn't play great, and you can have at him. But my, my contention is with the notion that he's the reason they lost. The, That's where I'm at. Like, the, come, what are we talking the, about? So I would say, uh, I mean, I would say he's the reason they lost. They wouldn't have been so, close if it wasn't for him. Okay, but why did they lose? What? They were on a, they were on Can a, they I get mean, a little, it, how about somebody on, else ahead, score? They're on a Kyrie. crazy comeback. Luka I, then makes a silly okay. foul and okay. leaves the no, game. So, and the there's no win. comeback so, without Luka. So, so well, I mean, I guess so. You but guess. I, no, I mean, that, that <laughs> maybe so, they won. I don't know. No, no, I'm, no. I'm well, lost. Well, it's on. not Luka's fault. He's about to get swept. Oh, He's an all-time great player. It's the greatest backcourt of all time. The Celtics are no good. The Celtics has an even. Okay, but now, wait a second. It's not Luka's fault. Wait a second. He's about to get swept out of the finals. And I've had to see. Here and say how good Luca is. I have to bend the knee in Luca. Oh, he's better than Giannis. He's better than Joker. Hold the on. Celtics are frauds. The Celtics don't have depth. And all of a sudden, it's like, oh my God, it's not Luca's fault. It's everyone else's fault. Hold, hold on, Bruce. Maybe hold Kyrie on. could help. Hold on, hold on, Wilds. 
I, I, mean, I will I will respond to all the about. points you made, but seven of them are straw men. What, I don't, what, what's uh, I, I'm gonna I'll, I'll go through them. Go. Who called the Celtics frauds? Who said they were frauds? Well, I say they have a historically great. Yeah, yeah. They okay. are, they are yeah. on a historically on. Let, great let me, run. Right. Let like, me, no, they're not. No, no. So, so right. So it is not a straw man to okay. say we doubted that this was an all-time great team. Okay. And but the, the gap sure, between all-time great Nobody team is frauds. frauds. Okay, that's the first frauds. thing. Sure. Second thing, who on this show? Yeah. Said this is the best backcourt of all time, or did Brew give a list explaining top where it five was. offensive backcourts? We've done was, several graphics. It was know, based on if they win. Correct. We could pull up the the graph. Put you guys Wait, picked that they were going to win. Yes. Hold so on. So I'm not allowed to make that no, leap. No. No. Why? They're going to win. We both think they're going to win. Second best. And been when second they win, best. they will be the second best. Oh, yes. Wait second. a second. You let said me, best. Let me. Let me. <laughs> I'm just saying. Let me respond to all of it. Luca leaping Giannis and Joker. Was yep. predicated on winning the title. Ky- Brew having this backcourt at second was predicated on winning the title. If you want, yeah. and I, I think we're going to get to it, to have the discussion of did I, did Brew, did America at large, did you until six days ago underrate the Celtics? We can have that discussion because yeah. I think that answer is yes. Yep. My major pushback, if I can show it quickly, is sure. I think the Luca should be criticized more for not crushing on offense than the defense. Because if you went into these finals and said, Boston's never going to crack 108, how's it going to be? Well, let's look at what it was this season. First of all, it only happened to them 12 times all year. They averaged 120. This team was 60 and 8 when they scored 108, and 4 and 8 when they didn't. They're 3-0 in the finals. So it's the Dallas offense that is abandoning them. Why? Well, if I told you going into the series, Dallas would never hit 10 threes, what chances would they have? Well, in the regular season, they were brutal. But again, it happened 11 of 82 games. Mm -hmm. In this finals, it's happened 3 of 3. So I am all here for, you know what? I think a flaw I had was overweighting the import of your single best player and underweighting the value of five top 50 guys in the league right now or whatever it is, top 60 guys. Good argument that that's the way it goes historically. Right. And so, but what I, what I think, I, I think sometimes sports media can be moths to a flame on a topic. And the reason that I was so frustrated with Wendy eviscerating Luca mm-hmm. in front of millions of people is, to me, it gave a signal of the, maybe the smartest guy covering the league, maybe the most unplugged-in guy covering the league, is saying it's on him. And I'm not saying that's an invalid opinion. It's just not one I share. I don't think he's a perfect player, and I don't think he is eligible for best player alive discussion anymore. I don't. I think that he had to win the title in order to make it a discussion with Joker. But I think the idea that the stuff Luca's bad at is so glaring yeah. that I think it is being discussed as if the Mavs are losing these games 125-120. And it's because Tatum or Jalen Brown or whoever. Well, the games are close. No, but I mean, my it's point is they can't score. It's criticism because they're so close. But, right, but they can't score. I, I don't score. know what more he – now, I, I'm going to talk a little bit. I mean, you can talk about stylistic changes with the way he plays offense. But as far as this is how they played his entire career, I mean, he's averaging, what, 28, 29, and, and, you know, nine boards and six assists. I don't know how much more he can do. This is a phenomenal defense. And and Kyrie was not – was the one MIA in the first two games, not Luka. Can I make one more point before we move on? Yeah. It's just about Wendy. And we both – we all know Windhorse. His, he has informed opinions, and what he put out was more of an opinion. This is what he wrote, uh, Luca's performance. No one can tell Doncic anything. Not teammates, not coaches, not executives, not media, not fans, not referees. There have been a lot of pleas and promises that he'll improve, but this one is going to leave a mark. So I felt like what Wendy was doing yesterday was not just popping off, but he was taking – you know, no, a wealth of, somebody. like, he's reporting where all these guys have said, hey, man, you, for you to get to the next level, you have to stop complaining, you have to lock down on defense and, you know, be a little bit, I don't want to say unselfish, but 
a little, I, I don't know, is it, try harder, it, I guess. No, I, he, listen, he's, he's not in the physical shape he should be in. He's hurt. That, yeah. No, yeah, so, so the blow buys thing to me, you're out there, you're accountable, and can I ask an on-the-fly question? And can we do the underestimated the Celtics instead of the Tatum thing? Sure. We only have well, time for one we're more flying. thing. Uh, but just real quick, the the I, I, you're out there, you're accountable. I think part of the blow buys is the fact that he is. I think the injury makes sense. It would affect you more on defense because that is reactionary mm -hmm. rather than you choosing where you go. I thought your tweet yesterday about how he fouled out. I felt that was unfair where you're saying instead of playing defense, he tries to draw a charge. That is playing defense. It was dumb. It, the risk wasn't worth the reward. But I think in that spot, he knew I'm, I am not going to be able to – was it Tatum or Brown? Brown. It, I'm not – if I'm, he's going to go by me right he now. Was he was trying. He was trying. That way he was trying. He wasn't done. good enough at it. He is not a perfect player. But – the narrative that Luka's defense is why they're down 0-3, I think is belied by the facts. They're down 0-3 because they can't score. And Luka's job is to do more scoring. That's why I say he needs to do better. But also, you got to have some people hit threes. And that's where the role players are in, in the finals, not shockingly, letting them down. I will give him this, too. It is rare for a superstar to foul out, period. But let alone in the finals game. And I don't mean he wasn't fouling, guys. There have been other superstars to foul guys. It usually takes And eight. they don't get right. You get you usually get stuff like that when you're a superstar. His fifth foul was very questionable. Uh, so, I mean, look, but there's no defending that defense. Okay. Statistics are overwhelming. Celtics now on the doorstep of being the 10th team to sweep the finals. They'd be the first team to sweep the conference finals and the finals. Here's That's best incredible. single, uh, best record in a single postseason if the Celtics close out uh, tomorrow it'd be 16 and 2 with some legendary teams right uh, Nick are you ready to admit that you and brew underestimated the Celtics you can answer for yourself yes and I have been blown away by their defensive execution and the fact that their best most decorated player even last night is still struggling yeah and the idea that it's not like, oh, he knows he's struggling, so he's deferring. He's taking 15 more shots than anyone on the team. He's gunning, and it's not, you know, he's not scoring. And the fact that they have, I, I talked about questioning their depth past Horford. How every minute Hauser's given them has been a good one. And damn, Tillman comes Tillman in off the bench and plays good defensively and does that. His support. I, right. And so I absolutely underestimated. That the so I, I was wrong that the Celtics wouldn't be ready mm -hmm. for the degree lift in competition. I did slough off to a degree their gaudy regular season record because I don't think they have the guy the way that every other great team has the guy or historically great team. And defensively, in my opinion, this is a tour de force team defense performance. So yes, like I th that that is not a straw man. That is fair. I. I missed it on them, and it's not for lack of watching it. It's because I'm like, yeah, but in a series, I think Tatum might look like this. I, well, and he did, and it doesn't matter, which speaks to the depth of the overall team. And Missoula, who I've been a huge critic of, has done a hell of a job. Like, well, that's where yeah, I come out. And obviously, I underestimated them as well and have been all year. And Joe Missoula... I have put him on the hot seat a, a few times. The bug list, <laughs> hot seat, yeah. Several times. But Joe Missoula deserves a contract extension. Oh, He's yeah. only got three years, $14 million left on this deal. J.J. Reddick's probably going to get more than that. Uh, Give probably. this man a raise. Oh. All right, I like Joe. I like Joe now. Okay. I like the press conferences. <laughs> yeah. I like your demeanor. All of it, Joe. I did underestimate them also. Like you said, they don't have a Luka, a Giannis, a Embiid, if he's ever healthy, a joker. a joker. Like, and typically those are the teams that do win championships. This would, I mean, we've talked about now. Are they more like the 04 Pistons? That was the last team. Or, the 04. That was 20 years ago. Kind, to what about not the have a superstar. Celtics? Because those, no, I mean, no, I, I don't think any of these. I mean, look, well, we'll see in time. But Garnett, Pierce, and Ray, and at that point, they were far more veteran than these guys are. Yeah. So I, I would say that. But all, I did think the three-point reliance would, would bite them at some point. It hasn't because of the defense. They're only shooting 34% from three. Th right. But their but defense is them. so stout 
that they're getting it done. So credit to the Boston Celtics. Uh, this team is playing phenomenal. Yeah. So I just want to, you know, yeah. I definitely underestimate them. All right, so they're 79 and 20, 15 and 2 in the postseason. They haven't lost since May 9th. If they go 80 and 20, I think I have this right. The last team to go 80 and 20 was the 86, 87 Lakers, like prime Showtime Lakers. Yeah. So on paper, well, 80 is that. What about the the 72 win Bulls? No, so that's I know so, they didn't go so, 80 and 20, but you talking about exactly 80 and 20? Exactly, he means okay, exactly, but yeah, not yeah, that exactly, yeah. exactly. He's 80 not 20. saying nobody's yeah, done it. Yeah. He's saying the last team to put up that exact number. Yes. So you. are you are. So is that fair? Because on I, paper it is. So here's what I think, and I know we're going to talk more about if they're historically great or not mm -hmm. later. I I will use the 04 Pistons as an example again, it, uh, which I Brew I think Brew was the first one to I say it. But but the yeah. the 04 Pistons are considered as a great story that had a massive upset, but a bit of a one off. The next year they were in Game Seven of the Finals. Obviously, I think it was. Was it game six or game seven that, that she didn't go to the won that series. They, yeah. Right. If they had won, and then after that, they went to three straight conference finals, yep. but they didn't break through again. If they had won that next year, we would think more highly of the 04 team. Absolutely. And so I, I, the, I will use the Nuggets of last year as an example. The Nuggets of last year have one all time great player, but not an overwhelming supporting cast. Mm -hmm. If they had won the title again this year, we would think about them. Oh, that might have been. That's an all-time team. You know what I mean? Like it's one Early star, discussion. but build yep. all of it. I, I don't think when you actually make the list of the all-time teams that I'm comfortable yet putting. And when we're talking all-time, you're talking about like top 25 champions of all time. Sure, yeah. maybe. But if we're talking top 10. The top 10 teams, no. And I, I know they have the record of, like, fringe top 10. Yeah. But to me, no. The answer to that is no. And, and, look, a part of why I underestimated them, too, was we've seen them fail so much. And it, not just they're getting close, but they can't break through. I'm not just talking about 22 finals when they lost yeah. to Golden State. I'm talking about going out in the first round to uh, uh, teams. I'm talking about losing uh -huh. to Miami time and time again. But like, do you view this Brooklyn team beat like a, maybe Drew is like the line well, of the Well, but the yeah. core was Tatum and Brown. And so that played into my thinking, too. Like, they just haven't been able to get over the And that's what Brown said, by the way, after the game was. Like, we've been – all year hearing about the last eight years, but yep. that we're a different team, and they are, like they are. They Lakers, deserve credit. Lakers coaching search next on FS1 and Fox Sports Channel Series 6. Oh, this is actually looks cool, to be honest with you. It looks strong <laughs> there. <laughs> I'm very strong, obviously. <laughs> what is that shirt made of? Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.